Okay, so we're coming to the end of the uh, month where I let you guys pick movies for me to review. Now, I was thankful that people actually picked, you know, Roddy Piper's They Live, because it's a phenomenal movie. That's great. And then other people decided to pick a movie starring The Rock. Now, the game plan, ironically, is the last movie where he was called Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And this is... I will call it a waste of a movie. Because The Rock, while he's very charismatic, and films are very believable in, you know, in his role as a professional football player. This style of movie, where it's, you know, like, Oh, I'm a rich guy. My life is in perfect order. I like everything that's going on. Huh? I have a kid. Oh. What... What am I supposed to do with this kid? And the hilarity ensues. I'm going to bedazzle your game-winning ball. I'm going to flood your house with foam. I'm going to have a tea party. Now, of course, these movies tend to make their money back in spades because it's it's a super cheap movie to produce. You know. Essentially, you can take the script from a pre-existing movie and just tweak it. This time he'll be a successful lawyer. This time he'll be a football player. Have we done with a hockey star yet? Maybe someone from the XFL. Maybe this person will be a professional skeet shooter. And it's it's always it's the exact same plot. It's it's male lead trying to do his best to do you know befuddled father. And it's as little precious, they tend to do with a daughter, because that makes for even more hilarity, because if a guy's ever been around a, like a little girl just for her whole life, he really doesn't know exactly how to approach it, and if they pick a manly man, it's, it's even more difficult for that person to really hit those connection points. So that way, with, you know, the audience is supposed to look at it and go, oh, look, it's a girl man having a tea party. Oh, look, it's a girl man in a doing ballet, like in Mr. Nanny. And it's it's not really... It's generic. It's not really a funny movie. It's got bits and pieces here and there. You kind of go, huh. But beyond that, it's just... I, I want to see The Rock in an action flick. Or even The Rock in like a buddy comedy. You know, he was very good in the rundown. He was decent in Walking Tall. I don't see why you got to put an action star and put them in a comedy that's really not funny. This is like Vin Diesel in The Pacifier. This is like uh, Stallone in Stop My Mom Will Shoot. This is like Arnold Schwarzenegger and like Junior or Jingle All The Way. You take these people who are good action stars and then you try to do the whole, well let's see if we can push them into other genres. Like what? I don't know, let's go with dopey comedy that will make its money back but it'll probably hurt this person's career in the long run. And essentially, that is the game plan. It's the Rock is a football player. Good job with the football player, you know. I don't mind the football-based storyline that moves. It works pretty well. You can do full movies based on that. But then they kind of saddle him with, you know, regular, generic, cute daughter. And that's it. And there's, there's nothing... It's not a great movie. It's not a bad movie. It's just movie. It's, it's not awesome, it doesn't suck. It's... It's lame. It's it's The Rock trying to have things be funny. And I'm sorry, you can be the funniest man alive, and if you have a script that is dull, there's really nothing you can do unless let you, what, like, ad-lib half of the movie? So again, you know, The Rock, very charismatic, works very well in this movie, there's just nothing for him to work with. It's like watching a bad wrestling match. You know, if you have someone who's awesome in the ring, and give him an absolute nobody to work with who's not helping at all, you get this. You know, it's, it's, it's not enjoyable, it's not bad, it could have been a lot worse, like Mr. Nanny or Suburban Commando or Gene All the Way or The Pacifier. You know, there's a whole Stop my mom will shoot. There's a whole list of movies you can throw out that are much worse than this. But there's just nothing good to it. So that's the game plan. It's it's a movie. 
it's not hilarious. It's not really funny. It's not really thought-provoking or poignant. It's just... It's a movie. 